<clears throat> you all right? That was amazing. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you. Okay, don't cry. If you cry, I'm going to cry. Okay. Come forward. I'm going to ask you a question. Yes, question. Okay, so earlier this year, we both had just the immense privilege of going to Montgomery, Alabama. Yes. And we got to go to the National Memorial for Peace and Justice. And if you haven't been, you should all go immediately. Um, and we had a chance to talk with Brian Stevenson, and he said something that has stayed with me ever since, and I wanted to just ask you about it. Yeah. So he said, I believe there's something better waiting for us in America if we have the courage to tell the truth about our history. And I just wonder, do you, like there is so much ugliness in our culture at the moment, but do you see maybe that there is a pinprick of light in that ugliness that maybe we are actually beginning to talk about that history and face up to it? We are... I won't say maybe, I'll say definitely. Listen, <laughs> we've all been lied to. We've been hoodwinked, we've been bamboozled, not just people of color, not just women with respect to men. All of us are living inside of a lie. Men are in a lie of expectations about what it's supposed to mean to be a man. White people are in a lie of expectations about what white is supposed to come with without work. When we free ourselves of that lie, we open up the possibility for a real world, a real future, real truth, real equality. So I see more than maybe, I see necessity to contend with that history. Without it, our future is a lie, and we shouldn't do that. We have another choice. You are my favorite. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Thank you everyone. <laughs>